Hey guys, David here. Welcome to Digital Outlook. In today's video, we got some great news to share with you about Hedera Hashgraph. But before we do, if you'd hit that like and subscribe and tell your friends and family so we can get this information out to as many people as possible, that would be fantastic. So, without further ado, why don't we get to it? So guys, I can probably guess what some of you out there are thinking. You're thinking he doesn't know that Coinbase has delayed their listing of Hedera on their exchange because what can be great about the Hedera ecosystem right now? Well guys, of course I know that Coinbase has delayed their listing and in fact guys, I think that was the best decision. In a way, I kind of liken it to if you wanted to throw your little uh, son or daughter a birthday party well you don't want to do it when all their little friends are off to summer camp or all their little cousins are away on a family trip you want to do it where all their friends are around and they can actually have a great celebration with everybody and guys when we see a market like we have today and we see a downturn like we have today well it's not the time that you want to get out there and list a new project something as significant as Hedera on your exchange and so for me i think it was a fantastic and probably the best decision that coinbase could have made now having said that guys we already know that they're planning on doing it it's kind of like hey you know that you're going to throw your kid a birthday party it's going to happen so in that way i'm at peace with it i can relax on that now guys there are all kinds of things to report on hedera because just the fact that they didn't get listed on coinbase does not mean that the entire ecosystem completely collapsed when you consider that you have got the backing of google ibm avery Dennison, and all these other fintech companies working along with hedera and they're moving hedera into a position where they are now gonna be working in the digital dollar project with a green energy FinTech company like MTech to work on a solution for the US central bank digital currency, that is a big deal, at least in my view. Now guys, with respect to the broader you know, market right now, I mean, you're seeing a knee jerk reaction to the CPI that has come out a lot higher than what they had expected it to be. But in reality, it should be no small wonder that we're seeing inflation just kind of spinning out of control. You've got all kinds of increases on consumer prices galore. And for the average folk who are going out there, paying their utility bills, buying their groceries, um, you know, taking in and get, going out there and getting consumer goods. I mean, my wife went out and bought something for one of her little grandkids, little toy. Anyway, she got it home and she bought this thing, I think about Pottery Barn or something like that, peeled back the first sticker and underneath the first sticker, I think the thing was like 25 bucks, but underneath that, she was expecting to see a higher price because normally when they do that, they put the sale price over the higher price. When she peeled it back, it was supposed to be, it was just $19. So in fact, she literally saw, what, a 25%, 20% increase on that one product? And that's what we're experiencing. So for me, I'm not too surprised to see our CPI like that. Now, what do you I think is going to happen long-term? Well, guys, I am going to be remaining bullish when it comes to these markets so long as we see Bitcoin above that 17.5K that we saw in June. Now, why is that? Well, guys, I believe that because we're seeing a massive amount of confluence you know, when you consider all the signals that are saying that the bottom is in down at that at that level. And right now, we're only seeing a retrace down to that 20,000 at 19,000 range in there. And I truly believe that you are going to watch these central banks. Just last Friday, Christine Lagarde of the ECB came out and basically said they're going to provide liquidity to these banks. What do you think that's going to do? It's going to push cash into these risk on assets. So this, what you're seeing right now is a knee jerk reaction. Don't forget that just a week before Friday, we were at 18,000 and then we saw that big pump up to 22. You're talking about, well, probably one of the most volatile markets out there when you're dealing with crypto. Now guys, having said that, I wanna give you a word of really great encouragement. Look, look long-term. Look down the road at the significance of these utilities, especially when you're looking at ones like Hedera Hashgraph. Don't forget, 
Who are the governing council and owners of Hedera? These are some of the biggest names in fintech that you are ever going to see. And when you consider the amount of resources and backing that they've put into this ecosystem and you know that this digital space is the future you can look at these opportunities to buy as probably one of your best blessings to accumulate well what if you've only been able to bag maybe a thousand two thousand maybe five thousand hedera hashgraph uh, tokens you know for yeah you put in 1500 bucks or whatever it is or something like that a small amount yeah you're gonna see some gains but it's not gonna be the life-changing wealth that you're going to be hoping for. Look, the longer we have to accumulate, the better off it's going to be. The longer the accumulation, the greater the expansion. Now that's the way I look at it. Now something else guys, with regards to Hedera, their ecosystem touches almost every facet of this digital asset space. They're involved in healthcare with safe health systems. They're working with Ubisoft on next generation gaming and the metaverse. They're, they're working with universities. They're also in the digital ID space. And guys, they're one of the biggest smart contract platforms out there. So in my view, when you consider Hedera Hashgraph, their ecosystem is probably one of the strongest, most secure, and well-backed ecosystems in this entire space. Now, with respect to the price action, guys, I mean, you're getting Hedera Hashgraph for what, six cents? This one has some amazing price potential. When I look at Hedera Hashgraph, I look at one of these opportunities that only comes around probably once in a lifetime. But guys, you got to make up your own mind. And I encourage you to go out there, do your own research. Don't trust what I'm saying. Do your own research. Get to know this asset. Get to know this space and make a decision on after you've done all of that. Now, guys, this is the video I have for you today, and I truly hope that you enjoyed it. Now, if there's something that I said about Hedera that you disagree with, you drop that down into the comments right there. And if there's something I left out, guys, that you think should be mentioned, drop that down in there, too, and we can have a discussion. So guys, before you go, just take a look at this great little pond and walk out here in McKinney, Texas. It is absolutely amazing. Well guys, as you know, I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice, but if you found value in it, if you'd hit that like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And guys, don't forget to hit that notification bell down there so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that we're uploading. And if you're one of the thousands of people who are watching these videos, but haven't yet subscribed, would you do this channel a favor and join this community? We'd really love to have you on board. So in the meantime, and in between time, stay safe, be blessed, and I'll catch you in the next one.